Oakland, Oakland, is a major West Coast port city in the U.S. state of California. Oakland is the third largest city in the San Francisco Bay Area, the eighth largest city in California, and the 45th largest city in the U.S., with a population of 413,775 as of 2014. Update. It serves as a trade center for the San Francisco Bay Area. Its port of Oakland is the busiest port for San Francisco Bay, all of Northern California, and fifth busiest in the United States. Incorporated in 1852, Oakland is the county seat of Alameda County. It is also the principal city of the Bay Area region known as the East Bay. The city is situated directly across the bay, six miles east of San Francisco. Oakland's territory covers what was once a mosaic of coastal terrace prairie, oak woodland, and north coastal scrub. Its land served as a rich resource when its hillside oak and redwood timber were logged to build San Francisco. And Oakland's fertile flatland soils helped it become a prolific agricultural region. In the late 1860s, Oakland was selected as the western terminal of the Transcontinental Railroad. Following the 1906 San Francisco earthquake, many San Franciscans relocated to Oakland, enlarging the city's population, increasing its housing stock and improving its infrastructure. It continued to grow in the 20th century with its busy port, shipyards, and a thriving automobile manufacturing industry. Oakland is known for its sustainability practices, including a top ranking for usage of electricity from renewable resources. Oakland is also known for its history of political activism, as well as its professional sports franchises and the major corporations, which include healthcare, dot-com companies and manufacturers of household products. In addition, thanks to a steady influx of immigrants during the 20th century, along with thousands of African-American war industry workers who relocated from the Deep South during the 1940s. Oakland is one of the most ethnically diverse major cities in the country. History Pre-incorporation The earliest known inhabitants were the Hutchiyoon Indians, who lived there for thousands of years. The Hutchiyoon belonged to a linguistic grouping later called the Ohlone. In Oakland, they were concentrated around Lake Merritt and Temescal Creek, a stream that enters the San Francisco Bay at Emeryville. In 1772, the area that later became Oakland was claimed, with the rest of California, by Spanish settlers for the King of Spain. In the early 19th century, the Spanish crown granted the East Bay area to Luis Maria Peralta for his Rancho San Antonio. The grant was confirmed by the Successo Mexican Republic upon its independence from Spain. Upon his death in 1842, Peralta divided his land among his four sons. Most of Oakland fell within the shares given to Antonio Maria and Vicente. The portion of the parcel that is now Oakland was called Ensenal, Spanish for Oak Grove, due to the large oak forest that covered the area, which eventually led to the city's name. City Beginnings In 1851, three men, Horace Carpentier, Edson Adams, and Andrew Moon, began developing what is now downtown Oakland. On May 4, 1852, the town of Oakland Incorporated. Two years later, on March 25, 1854, Oakland reincorporated as the city of Oakland, with Horace Carpentier elected the first mayor. Though a scandal ended his mayorship in less than a year, the city and its environs quickly grew with the railroads, becoming a major rail terminal in the late 1860s and 1870s. In 1868, the Central Pacific constructed the Oakland Long Wharf at Oakland Point, the site of today's Port of Oakland. A number of horse car and cable car lines were constructed in Oakland during the latter half of the 19th century. The first electric streetcar set out from Oakland to Berkeley in 1891, and other lines were converted and added over the course of the 1890s. The various streetcar companies operating in Oakland were acquired by Francis, Borax, Smith and consolidated into what eventually became known as the Key System, the predecessor of today's publicly owned AC Transit. 
1900 to 1950s at the time of incorporation, Oakland consisted of the territory that lay south of today's major intersection of San Pablo Avenue, Broadway, and 14th Street. The city gradually annexed farmlands and settlements to the east and the north. Oakland's rise to industrial prominence, and its subsequent need for a seaport, led to the digging of a shipping and tidal channel in 1902. This resulted in the nearby town of Alameda being made an island. In 1906, the city's population doubled with refugees and made homeless after the 1906 San Francisco earthquake and fire. In 1916, General Motors opened a major automobile factory in East Oakland called Oakland Assembly. It produced Chevrolet cars and then GMC trucks until 1963, when it was moved to Fremont in southern Alameda County. Also in 1916, the Fadil Motor Company chose East Oakland for their first factory, manufacturing farming tractors from 1918 to 1923. By 1920, Oakland was the home of numerous manufacturing industries, including metals, canneries, bakeries, internal combustion engines, automobiles, and shipbuilding. By 1929, when Chrysler expanded with a new plant there, Oakland had become known as the Detroit of the West, referring to the major auto manufacturing center in Michigan. Oakland expanded during the 1920s, as its population expanded with factory workers. Approximately 13,000 homes were built in the three years between 1921 and 1924, more than during the 13 years between 1907 and 1920. Many of the large downtown office buildings, apartment buildings, and single-family houses still standing in Oakland were built during the 1920s. They reflect the architectural styles of the time. Russell Clifford Durant established Durant Field at 82nd Avenue and East 14th Street in 1916. The first transcontinental airmail flight finished its journey at Durant Field on August 9, 1920, flown by Army Captain Eddie Rickenbacker and Navy LT Bert Acosta. Durant Field was often called Oakland Airport, though the current Oakland International Airport was soon established four miles to the southwest. During World War II, the East Bay Area was home to many war-related industries. Oakland's Moore Dry Dock Company expanded its shipbuilding capabilities and built over 100 ships. Valued at $100 million in 1943, Oakland's canning industry was its second most valuable war contribution after shipbuilding. The largest canneries were in the Fruitvale District, and included the Josiah Lusk Canning Company, the Oakland Preserving Company, and the California Packing Company. President Franklin D. Roosevelt called on defense industries with government contracts to integrate their workforces and provide opportunities for all Americans. Tens of thousands of laborers were attracted from around the country, and especially poor whites and blacks from the Deep South, Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Louisiana, Mississippi, South Carolina, and Texas, as well as Missouri and Tennessee. Henry J. Kaiser's representatives recruited sharecroppers and tenant farmers from rural areas to work in his shipyards. African Americans were part of the Great Migration by which a total of 5 million persons left the South, mostly for the West, in the years from 1940 to 1970. White migrants from the Jim Crow South carried their racial attitudes causing tensions to rise among black and white workers competing for the better-paying jobs in the Bay Area. The racial harmony that Oakland blacks had been accustomed to prior to the war evaporated. Also migrating to the area during this time were many Mexican-Americans from southwestern states such as New Mexico, Texas, and Colorado. Many worked for the Southern Pacific Railroad at its major rail yard in West Oakland. Their young men encountered hostility and discrimination by armed forces personnel. 
and tensions broke out in Zoot Suit Riots in downtown Oakland in 1943 in the wake of a major disturbance in Los Angeles that year. In 1946 National City Lines, a General Motors holding company, acquired 64% of key system stock. During the next several years NCL engaged in the conspiratorial dissolution of Oakland's electric streetcar system. The city's expensive electric streetcar fleet was converted to the cheaper diesel buses. The state legislature created the Alameda and Contra Costa Transit District in 1955, which operates today as AC Transit the third-largest bus-only transit system in the nation. Soon after the war, as Oakland's shipbuilding industry declined and the automobile industry went through restructuring, many jobs were lost. Economic competition increased racial tension. In addition, labor unrest increased as workers struggled to protect their livelihoods. Oakland was the center of a general strike during the first week of December 1946 one of six cities across the country that had such a strike after World War II, 1960-1999. In 1960, Kaiser Corporation erected its headquarters. It was the largest skyscraper in Oakland, as well as the largest office tower west of Chicago up to that time. In the post-war period, suburban development increased around Oakland, and wealthier residents moved to new housing. Despite the major increases in the number and proportion of African Americans in the city, in 1966 only 16 of the city's 661 police officers were black. Tensions between the black community and the largely white police force were high, as expectations during the civil rights era increased to gain social justice and equality before the law. Police abuse of blacks was common. Students Huey Newton and Bobby Seale founded the Black Panther Party at Merritt College to emphasize black power and taking care of their own community. Among their social programs were feeding children and providing other services to the needy. During the 1970s, Oakland began to suffer serious violence and other problems related to gang-controlled dealing of heroin and cocaine when drug kingpin Felix Mitchell created the nation's first large-scale operation of this kind. Both violent crime and property crime increased during this period, and Oakland's murder rate rose to twice that of San Francisco or New York City. As in many other American cities during the 1980s, crack cocaine became a serious problem in Oakland. Drug dealing in general, and the dealing of crack cocaine in particular, resulted in elevated rates of violent crime, causing Oakland to consistently be listed as one of America's most crime-ridden cities. In 1980 Oakland's black population reached its 20th century peak at approximately 47% of the overall city population. On October 20, 1991, a massive firestorm swept down from the Berkeley, Oakland Hills above the Caldercott Tunnel. 25 people were killed, 150 people were injured, and nearly 4,000 homes destroyed. With the loss of life and an estimated economic loss of $1.5 billion, this was the worst urban firestorm in American history. During the mid-1990s, Oakland's economy began to recover as it transitioned to new types of jobs. In addition, the city participated in large development and urban renewal projects, concentrated especially in the downtown area, at the Port of Oakland, and at the Oakland International Airport. The 6.9 MW Loma Prieta earthquake occurred on October 17, 1989. The rupture was related to the San Andreas Fault system and affected the entire San Francisco Bay Area with a maximum Mercalli intensity of IX. Many structures in Oakland were badly damaged including the double-decker portion of Interstate 880 that collapsed. The eastern span of the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge also sustained damage and was closed to traffic for one month. 2000s after his 1999 inauguration, 
Oakland Mayor Jerry Brown continued his predecessor Elihu Harris's public policy of supporting downtown housing development in the area defined as the central business district in Oakland's 1998 general plan. Brown's plan and other redevelopment projects were controversial due to potential rent increases and gentrification, which would displace lower-income residents from downtown Oakland into outlying neighborhoods and cities. The economic crises in 2001 and 2008 hampered Oakland's recovery as these downturns resulted in lowered sales, rentals and occupancy of the new housing, and slower growth and economic recovery than expected. Due to allegations of misconduct by the Oakland Police Department, the city of Oakland has paid claims for a total of $57 million during the 2001-2011 time frame to plaintiffs claiming police abuse. This is the largest sum paid by any city in California. On October 10, 2011, protesters and civic activists began Occupy Oakland demonstrations at Franco Gawa Plaza in downtown Oakland. Geography Oakland is on the east side of San Francisco Bay. In 1991 the city hall tower was at 37 degrees 48 minutes 19 seconds north 122 degrees 16 minutes 21 seconds west 37.805302 degrees north 122.272539 degrees west 37.805302 minus 122.27 72539. The United States Census Bureau says the city's total area is 78.0 square miles, including 55.8 square miles of land and 22.2 square miles of water. Oakland's highest point is near Grizzly Peak Boulevard, east of Berkeley just over 1,760 feet above sea level at about 37 degrees 52 minutes 43 seconds north 122 degrees 13 minutes 27 seconds west 37.8786 degrees north 122.2241 degrees west 37.8786 minus 122.2241. Oakland has 19 miles of shore Line, but Radio Beach is the only beach in Oakland. Oaklanders refer to their city's terrain as the flatlands and the hills. Until recent waves of gentrification, these terms also symbolized Oakland's deep economic divide, with the hills being more affluent communities. About two-thirds of Oakland lies in the flat plain of the East Bay, with one-third rising into the foothills and hills of the East Bay Range. Ruptures along the nearby San Andreas Fault caused severe earth movement in the San Francisco Bay Area in 1906 and 1989. San Andreas quakes induces creep in the Hayward Fault, which runs directly through Oakland, Berkeley, San Jose and other Bay Area cities. Cityscape neighborhoods Oakland has more than 50 distinct neighborhoods. The greater divisions in the city include downtown Oakland and its greater central business district, Lake Merritt, East Oakland, North Oakland, West Oakland, and the Oakland Hills. East Oakland, which includes the East Oakland Hills, encompasses more than half of Oakland's land area, stretching from Lakeshore Avenue on the east shore of Lake Merritt southeast to the San Leandro border. North Oakland encompasses the neighborhoods between downtown and Berkeley and Emeryville. West Oakland is the area between downtown and the bay, partially surrounded by the Oakland Point and encompassing the Port of Oakland. In 2011, Oakland was ranked the 10th most walkable city in the United States. Lake Merritt, an urban estuary near downtown, is a mix of fresh and salt water draining in and out from the Oakland Harbor at the San Francisco Bay and one of Oakland's most notable features. It was designated the United States as first official wildlife refuge in 1870. Originally a marsh-lined wildlife haven, Lake Merritt was dredged and bordered with parks from the 1890s to the 1910s. Despite this reduction in habitat, Oakland is home to a number of rare and endangered species. 
many of which are localized to serpentine soils and bedrock. Lake Merritt is surrounded by residential and business districts, including downtown and Grand Lake. The city of Piedmont, incorporated in Oakland's central foothills after the 1906 earthquake, is a small independent city surrounded by the city of Oakland. Climate and vegetation Oakland has a Mediterranean climate with an average of 260 sunny days per year. Lake Merritt, a large estuary centrally located east of downtown, was designated as the United States's first official wildlife refuge. Based on data gathered by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, Oakland is ranked no. 1 in climate among U.S. cities. Oakland's climate is typified by the temperate and seasonal Mediterranean climate. Summers are usually dry and warm and winters are mild and damp. It has features found in both nearby coastal cities such as San Francisco and inland cities such as San Jose, making it warmer than San Francisco and cooler than San Jose. Its position on San Francisco Bay across from the Bay Bridge means that the northern part of the city can have cooling maritime fog. It is far enough inland that the fog often burns off by midday, allowing it to have typically sunny California days. The hills tend to have more fog than the flatlands, as the fog drifts down from Berkeley. The U.S. Weather Bureau kept weather records in downtown Oakland from October 4, 1894, to July 31, 1958. During that time, the record high temperature was 104 degrees Fahrenheit on June 24, 1957, and the record low temperature was 24 degrees Fahrenheit on January 23, 1949. Dry, warm offshore, Diablo, winds sometimes occur, especially in fall, and raise the fire danger. In 1991, such an episode allowed the catastrophic Oakland Hills fire to spread and consume many homes. The wettest year was 1940 with 38.65 inches and the driest year was 1910 with 12.02 inches. The most rainfall in one month was 15.35 inches in January 1911. The most rainfall in 24 hours was 4.27 inches on February 12, 1904. Rainfall near the bayfront is only 23 inches per year, but is higher in the Oakland Hills to the east. The higher rainfall in the hills supports woods of oak, madrona, pine, fir and a few redwood groves in the wetter areas. Before being logged in the 19th century, some of the tallest redwood trees in California may have stood in the Oakland Hills. One old stump 30 feet in diameter can be seen near Redwood Regional Park. Sunny, drier slopes are grassy or covered in scattered oaks and chaparral brush. Australian eucalyptus trees have been extensively planted in many areas, as they come from a similar climate. The National Weather Service today has two official weather stations in Oakland, Oakland International Airport and the Oakland Museum. In 1991, an urban conflagration, the Oakland Hills Fire, destroyed nearly 4,000 homes and killed 25 people in the Oakland Hills Range. It was the worst urban firestorm in American history.